What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial in Adobe Edge Animate 1.0. This is going to be the first tutorial in the full version of the software. It was just released in Adobe Creative Cloud, so I'll provide a link in the description to that. We're going to go over some things that are in the software that will let you animate and create some cool projects. One of the newer things in Adobe Edge Animate is that you have this auto transition mode, and that allows smoother animations. I'm going to go File, Import, and let's select this monkey character. And let me just show you how it was before the end of this feature. If you wanted to create, say, an animation and you want to put a keyframe over here to start it off and then we're going to move the character here, it's just very jagged as an animation, so it's not smooth at all. So what we'll do here is start from the beginning, add one keyframe again, and then we'll have this selected here, and you can have it selected even before you add the first keyframe, so let me just do that now and select that. And this is called Auto Transition Mode. It says Enabled. Gradual transitions will be created between keyframes. What that means is that the animation is going to be a lot smoother than before. So let me add a keyframe for the location there. And let me move the character. And now what you see is a very smooth transition. Now a little bit more of a normal thing that I would do with this character, and I've done it before in other tutorials. I keep showing this example, but it does explain how you can get started with a quick animation. So let me select one keyframe for degrees, and then we're just going to type in a 360, and he's going to do a back foot. And there you go. It's a very smooth transition, and if you want it to take longer to do that, you just extend it. And the transition will be slower. So those are a couple things you can do to make smooth transitions in Edge. If you're not familiar with the auto keyframes, basically what's happening here is that this option is selected and it's an auto keyframe mode. So when I want to, I'll select the keyframe and then I'll put the position of the character where I want it and the Edge automatically inserts the keyframe for me. Now I come back over here and I turn this off. We insert one keyframe over here and then what I'll do is on the timeline here, I'll place the keyframe and then I'll move the character. So there's two ways you can implement the animation. I do prefer the auto keyframes because it lets you work through your projects a little bit quicker. But if there's times where you don't want to use it, you don't have to. And that's it. We'll have more tutorials in Adobe Edge. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.